Hi, I'm Rajiv, and today we're going back to basics. I'm a stickler for chores that have an impact on your life. Little things that just make you feel better about the day. Here's the thing about making your bed. You get up in the morning, you brush your teeth, you let the bed cool down. Um, that's what my grandmother used to do, and she actually learned that from nuns in a convent where she went to school as a little girl. Get up, don't make the bed right away, go off, brush your teeth, wash your face, and then come back, because the sheets are still warm from all night, so you let them cool down and air out, and then you make the bed. But making your bed is important because you do it, it's all neat and tidy, and then you go out there in the world, and you have your day. And if you had a horrible day where everything was out of your control and you're exhausted and tired and kind of blah, you come back home and whether you know it or not, seeing that made bed at the end of the day gives you something that you accomplished. You achieved something and it's small, but that small little thing is very important. If you're depressed or you have anxiety, I promise you that if you make your bed every single morning, you will feel better. You will feel better about yourself and you'll feel better about the world that you live in. So it might seem like a simple little chore that's annoying. I've had people say, yeah, why make the bed if I'm just gonna make it a mess? Well, because it actually has a lasting impact on your mind. So for me, there's no negotiating this. I get up in the morning and my bed is made every single day. So today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how I do it. One of my favorite possessions is my mattress made in the Bronx by Charles Beckley. They've been making mattresses like this, I think since the 30s, and I, I just love seeing the actual mattress. It just takes me back to a time when even mattresses were beautiful. So I don't do this every time I make my bed, but once every three or four months, when I take off all the sheets to wash them, I flip the mattress. This mattress, which was made by hand, actually needs to be flipped regularly. You have to turn the mattress over so that it gets even wear, so that it doesn't start to sag on one side or get like a divot from your back. So. I flip it this way, and then sometimes I also rotate it the other way. And this just makes sure that the mattress is going to have a nice, healthy life for like 30 or 40 years. Next thing is covering the mattress with a mattress protector, just to keep it clean. Now, the next step is just putting on the fitted sheet. So, I really, like to iron my sheets. It's just, it's just that extra step that makes it feel very luxurious getting into bed that first night after you've made the bed. And yeah, it takes, um, it takes quite a while and it takes quite a bit of effort to iron all the sheets, but it's just, it's just one of those things that you do for yourself. And how many things do we really do for ourselves that make us feel fancy. That's what this is, it's making yourself feel fancy. Try it out, just once. Get, take the sheets out of the dryer before they're fully dry, when they're still slightly damp, and iron them, and then make your bed. You'll, 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 you'll get what I'm talking about. So, fitted sheet. You know what to do with a fitted sheet. You just put it on. Oh, um, here's the thing. Do you, wanna, do you want me to show you how to fold a fitted sheet? I think this is something that a lot of people don't know how to do, might want to know how to do. Um, shall we show them that? So, um, fitted sheet. How do you fold a fitted sheet? Well, okay, let's pretend that this is not iron, and let's pretend that this came out of the laundry bin, right? Start with the fitted sheet inside out, okay? And then, let's say it's in just like a pile like this. You're gonna get the fitted sheet, and you're gonna find where it's sewn, so not the long side, but the shorter side. You're gonna find the shorter side, and you're gonna find both seams. Now look, the sewing is on the outside, so this is the wrong side. Stick one hand in one corner, stick the other hand in the other corner, 
right? Wrong side, wrong side. Wrong side from the left hand meets wrong side from the right hand, and then I flip it over. So now I have a good side out. And now I find the adjacent edge that's connected from the top and goes down to a wrong side again. And then the, there's one more corner left, and that one corner is gonna be the wrong side to the wrong side, wrong side to the wrong side. So now all four corners are met right here on my right hand. I'm gonna switch over to my left hand. What we have is this little bit that, that's inside out right now and that just needs to get pulled to go over those three other edges. So now I have the fitted sheet's corners all lined up on this hand. And I have this elastic part on the inside. One, two, three, four. I find where it folds down over here and I just even it out so that there's a corner over here, right? And now, lay this on the bed. So I have three almost perfect corners. One, two, three, and I have this rounded edge, which I'm gonna fold in and hide. I'm gonna hide that rounded edge that's gonna prevent me from making this neat and tidy. And then I fold this in like this, and I fold this over like this, and there's your fitted sheet, all neatly folded. How to fold a fitted sheet. These are the lines from ironing your sheet. It's like getting into a hotel bed. That's why we do it. And, and when you're putting the fitted sheet on, really take time to tuck in the edges if it's big. You know, if you don't and you just throw it on there, then you end up with this kind of thing. And that's not good. That's not how we do things. One of my favorite poems is by Emily Dickinson. Ample make this bed, make this bed with awe. In it, wait for judgment break, excellent and fair. Be its mattress straight, be its pillow round. Let no sunlight, yellow noise interrupt this ground. That always comes into my head when I'm making the bed. There, look at that. You want it to be tight so that you can bounce a quarter off of it. So the flat sheet going onto the bed is the only part of making a bed that is kind of technical. This is the flat sheet. There is a right side and a wrong side to the flat sheet. There's usually at the top of a flat sheet a hem or some kind of decorative something, so there are stripes on this sheet. But if you look at where the sheet is sewn over, on the side hems or even the top, the good side has the stitching but no fold, and the wrong side has the fold. So if you take your finger and you go like this, and you can catch your finger in the fold, that's the wrong side. Now, which side goes up? The right side or the wrong side? You might think that the right side goes up. No. The wrong side goes up. Ha! I gotcha! It's true. Why does the right side go down, you might ask? Well, I'll show you. So first, let's get our sheet on here. Wrong side up, right side down. I just try to find the middle of the sheet and kind of set it in place over here. I'm gonna come back to the bottom. But now I'm gonna go to the top and I'm gonna take the top of the sheet. I'm going to kind of line it up with the top of the bed and then I'm gonna fold it over. So now what we have is the sheet folded over. The right side was down, but because it's folded over, now the right side is up. If you stay at a hotel next time, just look at the bed. And almost in every hotel, this is the way a classic bed is made with this fold down. This is a pocket to hold the blanket or to hold the duvet. You pull this up, you pull the duvet up to here, and then you fold this down over the bed. And what that does is it keeps the blanket or the duvet cleaner. So cuddle with yourself at night and you're all cozy 
but what's touching your face and what's touching your skin is the flat sheet, not the blanket or the duvet. And what that does is it keeps the duvet clean so that you don't have to wash it every week when you're washing your sheets. You wash it once every couple months or so, the duvet cover, because this is the thing that's getting soiled. So that's why this is folded over like this everywhere you go. You're meant to use this to cover the top of the duvet or the blanket to keep it cleaner. Got it? Do you guys know that? No. Dirty straight boys. Okay, so this gets folded over like this. Now that I know that I have this much sheet up here, I'm gonna go down to the bottom, pull this taut, and I'm going to tuck in the remaining sheet at the bottom. And don't just shove it in there with your hands. Lift up the mattress and put it down there flat, okay? Because we're gonna need to do something with this over here. This is the technical part of making a bed. What you do with this excess. Do you know what a hospital corner is? That's what you do with this edge. You make a hospital corner or, or a hospital fold. And the way you do this is you lift this up so that you can pull it and hold the sheet so there's a 45 degree angle here. And then you take this excess and tuck it underneath. And now we let this fall so that it's flat, pull it taut, and then you take this and tuck this underneath. And this right here is a hospital corner. Same thing on the other side. Pull this taut, tuck this in, and that essentially is the complicated part about making a bed. That little corner over there and how you put on this top sheet. Next, just put on your blankets or your duvet. And here's a little tip about putting your duvet back in the duvet cover. I find the top of the duvet, so the label, Put that at the bottom. Find the top of the duvet and then hold a corner in each hand. And while you're holding a corner in each hand, go in through the bottom and just find the top two corners on the inside. And now, in each hand, I have the duvet cover holding the duvet inside. And I just go like that. There, it's in. So now it's time to express your creativity how do you want to put the top sheets onto the bed? Do you want to lay the duvet out like this and put your pillows on? And then maybe we want to take our Deborah coverlet and put it at the bottom of the bed, like this. That's one option. Option number two is to put the blanket down first. Maybe the duvet is just for the coldest nights, so sometimes I like to sleep with just the blanket, and then, the duvet folded in three, and then this just laid at the foot of the bed. And this is kind of a European style. So there's another option. Beat back, tuck this in, and I'm leaving quite a bit of the blanket. Now this blanket's extra long, and I asked Deborah to specifically weave it much longer for this purpose, so that I would have lots of blanket left to do this next thing which is a fold over, over the pillow. So historically, a lot of beds were made this way. The pillow would go down like this, and then I take the blanket, and I cover the pillow with the blanket. And look at that, doesn't that look nice? So you can really, you could get creative with how you make your bed and how you arrange the blankets and the sheets and the duvet. Now, one last thing, pillow talk. There's a specific way of putting pillows on the bed if they have an opening on one side. So let's put this pillowcase, freshly laundered, onto the pillow. Which way should this go? Should it go like this? Or does it go like this? Do you know? It goes this way, the opening or the place where there's the hem, which is always the place where there would be any kind of decoration, should always face out. So if you have a queen bed or a double bed and you have two pillows, the seams go together on the bed 
and the openings face out. And if you have a twin bed like this and it's up against the wall, the hem faces out. So there you have it. How to make your bed like a grown-up. Now you have to do it. And you have to do it every day. Because you're all grown up. And this is what grown-ups do. They make their bed in the morning. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, but since I made my bed and you watched, please subscribe for more videos just like this one.